friends welcome back to my channel so today we're trying out a whole bunch of new goodies the memorial day sales got me you guys they got me and i made quite a few orders and actually most of these are new brands to me that i haven't tried out which i'm really really excited about and some of them are on the list of brands that i wanted to try this year so even more excited about that i not gonna lie <laughs> i like some parts of this look and i really 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 dislike some parts of this look so definitely obviously keep watching to uh see that but this is the look that i made for you right here before we get started don't forget to upload every tuesday thursday and saturday for you guys if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and other than that if you're excited and you want to see me make this look right here with a whole bunch of new goodies then let's go ahead and get started all right starting off with eyes we have something extra special to try out today because this is one of the brands that i said i wanted to try at some point in 2022 we're uh, halfway through and i'm finally trying it and i'm pretty sure this is the only one of the five that i'm trying so far so i should probably get on that <laughs> and we are going to be testing out the odin's eye soul main 2 palette i could not be more excited to try out this palette. First of all, Odin's Eye, I've heard nothing but good reviews about their eyeshadow, the formulation, their colors. I don't think I've heard one bad review about this brand. Second of all, this artwork on this packaging is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, but the inside and the actual shades and colors are just as beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? And I am not even, well, okay. I was about to say, I'm not even someone who loves colorful eyeshadow. I do, I do love colorful eyeshadow. I just, don't always feel the most comfortable in it per se, but I just couldn't get past this eyeshadow color story. I saw it and I was like, all right, that's beautiful. And I do want to try Odin's Eye, but I don't know, maybe I should get something a little bit more neutral tone that I'll wear a lot more often. And then I just kept seeing reviews and kept looking at this and seeing swatches on Instagram. And I was like, I have to buy this. And so I did. And I like cannot wait. I cannot wait to try this out. I don't know what we want to do today we got blues we got purples we got like warmy orangey tones i don't think i'm gonna play it safe and do the orange tones just because that is probably like the safest you know look you can make out of here and i don't think that i want to do blues because i just use blue eyeshadow on my shop my stash get ready with me that i put up recently so i think i'm gonna stick to this middle row right here and do some purples we're going to start off with this shade right here which is called dream so i'm not really going to be going super in depth about this palette i'm not going to show swatches or anything like that because this is not like a palette review on just this palette i was going to do that and then this palette took forever to get to me i ordered it on may 20th and it literally took like two weeks to get in the mail to me which is fine i understand it's coming from across the world i'm pretty sure i don't remember what uh country odin's eye is in but it's like in europe it's across the world i kind of understand but the other part of me is like I've had things shipped to me across the world way faster than that, so I'm not entirely sure what took this palette so long. All right, I do like that with one layer, but I'm gonna add a second. I'm not sure if it's because they just were overwhelmed with orders because this was a pretty big launch for them. I know a lot of people were probably ordering it. I don't know if that's why, or just the mail has been extra slow recently. I know that's the case. I'm not sure what happened. So I was, I was gonna do a dedicated video to this, and then by the time I got it, makeup moves on so quickly, it's kind of old news, but I still wanted to like try it out on camera for you guys. This is stunning. This is a really beautiful shade. Wow, I love that. I want to build it up just a tiny bit more out here. That is like not getting patchy or sheer, and it's like building on itself super nicely. Ooh, that is a beautiful shade. And it's such like a lilac-y, almost blue tone purple, but... Oh, that's stunning. All right, next I want to dip into this deep purple right here called Galaxy. So unless you got this palette in PR, which I know quite a few people who I watch on here did get it in PR, and they got it like before it launched and was able to make uh, videos with it, which is amazing. I'm so glad they were able to get that information out for us. But if you just ordered it, well, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. If you ordered this palette and it took forever to get to you, let me know in the comments below because it really did take a while for me. But it's here now and I'm excited to try it out. So that is a really beautiful shade. I am going to build it up another layer. Oh, that is a stunning, like grape deep purple. Oh, I am loving that. We're gonna take a little bit more of that dream shade and just really mesh these two together. Those are blending together really nicely. They're not like getting muddy or really patchy out here on the outer corner and purples are hard to formulate. All right, so we have three beautiful shimmers here. This one is Meteor. Then we have Starry Sky. And lastly, we have Hallucinations. 
yeah. All right, well, all three of those are absolutely gorgeous. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be real basic with this eye look. I'm not trying any new sort of technique or look for you. I'm so sorry. I just kind of wanted to do my usual to really test out these shadows. I think I'm gonna put glitter primer all over my lid to like here. I definitely still want the outer corner to be matte. And we're gonna go in with Meteor on the inner portion and then this Hallucinations on the outer portion. I wanted to do two eye looks for you guys, like one on each eye, but I have some place to go after this. I'm going to see my papa with my mom and my sister and my nephew, so I could not do that, unfortunately. So this one we have is Meteor. We're gonna start tapping that on the inner portion. Oh, that is beautiful, wow. And then we're gonna take that Hallucinations, yep, and put it like right here in the middle. I've heard such beautiful things about Odin's eye formulation, and I don't know, I just had never tested it out until now. But like I said, I couldn't pass up this uh, eyeshadow palette, and these are performing so, so nicely. Those shimmers are super impactful on the eye. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We are going to bring a little bit more of this galaxy shade right here into the crease. Just to deepen it a little bit. It's gonna eventually get covered up by shimmer anyways, but, and then try to mesh it together here with that shimmer and then dream one more time to just really make sure we didn't lose it. Alrighty, I love this. I think this is beautiful. I only played with the purples obviously, but I cannot really see the blues and the oranges being much different. I will obviously keep testing this out and you know, keep, keep you updated on my thoughts. But so far this eye look is stunning. It's stunning and I did not have any problems. I do have some fallout on my face from those shimmers, even though I did use glitter primer. That's a little bit of a bummer, but that's why I do my eyes first. It's not the end of the world. I can just wipe it away. So I love this. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then we have so many more goodies to test out. So I'll be right back. I feel like this is what I wanted the Glam Light wine palette to be. That is like a really stunning, beautiful purple palette. But when I tried it out, it got really patchy on me, the mattes specifically. I feel like this is what I wanted that palette to be, at least these tones. Oh, I'm here for it. Okay, next up, Danessa Myricks. Oh, she's another brand that I wanted to try this year. Okay, cool. So, so far of the five brands I wanted to try, I am trying two in this video. Pumped about that. So, Danessa Myricks was having a sale on her website for Memorial Day. And she was including her new launches, which I was really honestly surprised to see that. This is her Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. This is for face and eyes. Um, she, I, This is a really confusing product. So she came out with the translucent one and then ones with different shades. I ended up getting the shade one, which is the lightest one that's not the translucent one that could work for all skin tones. So this is what it looks like. Okay, like I said, this is a pretty confusing product. She says you can use it as like a powder. You can use it as like a blurring balm, a primer. You can also use it as foundation. I'm not sure how much coverage it's going to have. Um, like I said, it comes in all sorts of different skin tones and all that. So I really don't know how I'm going to use it is as a primer. The people who I've seen try this product out, most of them like it as a primer. So that is what I'm going to do. So we're just going to dive right in and I don't know. All right. Oh, okay. So it's very balmy. Like it says, it literally says it's a balm powder. All righty. Well, it definitely is like my skin tone color. Um, I don't know if I should put this all over my face or just my T-zone. Okay. So that's such a weird consistency because it is balmy when you're first applying it, but then it like rubs in and almost has like a powdery finish. Okay. And it is fairly blurring. Oh, I probably should have showed you one side with and one side without. So sorry about that. Um, it is fairly blurring. I feel like I've also heard that this is really good at keeping your oils at bay, which like mama needs that, especially on her chin. So we're just going to put this all in my T-zone. I think I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we're going to cover all that up in one moment, but yeah. All right. This is interesting. I really don't know um, my thoughts on it. Obviously right now I'm just trying it in, but it's blending in nicely. It's not like pilling or acting weird on my skin. I didn't put any other primer under it. I thought about putting like a hydrating primer everywhere and then just this in the T-zone, but clearly you guys saw I did not do that. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know what you think about that. It rubbed in nicely and hopefully it does keep my oils at bay. That's like what I'm hoping this will do. What I envision in my mind how I plan on using this is just, like I said, using a hydrating primer probably everywhere or some sort of smoothing primer and then using this in my T-zone and on my chin to smooth it out, to blur it, to help the foundation wear better. And then, like I said, hopefully keep my oils at bay on this chin because 
they're bad. So yeah, so far so good, I guess. I would not use this as a foundation though. She says you can use it like that. It definitely does not have enough coverage for me, but I have a lot to cover and I personally like full coverage. So I would not use that as a foundation at all, but yeah, I think how I would use it is as a primer like I just did. So I'm gonna keep you updated on my thoughts. Obviously this is my first time trying it. Don't really have too much to say so far, but so far so good. Alrighty, so by Beauty, have you heard of them? They are going out of business apparently. Um, well, they are, they announced it. It's not apparent at all, but they're going out of business. And I told myself, Emily, you don't need to pick anything up because you have, you've had the opportunity to try their products in the past and you never have. So why would you pick them up now that they're going out of business and you cannot repurchase them if you end up loving their products? And I've tried by Beauty in the past. I've had some of their mini lipsticks that I did like. I have their um, like weekly, nightly lip scrub that I've used almost a whole one up. I do enjoy that. So it's not like I've never tried by Beauty, but I've never tried like their complexion products. And I told myself I wasn't gonna make an order. And then I made an order. <laughs> I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Curiosity was killing the cat and I had to try them out. Plus everything was on a super steep discount because they're going out of business. Um, so this was 50% off. So I picked up their Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I picked up the shade L10, which is the lightest one. I really don't know what I, to expect about this foundation. Oh, there's a little guy on it. Okay, I don't really know what to expect about this foundation. We're just going to, ooh. All right, well, I'm gonna try to shake that up a little bit better. All right, I shook it up. Let's see if that happens again. All right, no. Okay, so that's just like a really moussey sort of thick formulation. I think it might be a little bit light on me. Excuse my self-tanner. I think it might be a little light on me now because I am self-tanning, but we're just going to give it a go. I don't know, really know what to expect. I don't really know what coverage it has, if it's like more matte or more dewy. I really don't know what to expect on this so yeah it's a little lighter for me now but I think for the most part of the year when I'm not self tanning it will match me perfectly fine okay <laughs> right off the bat what a shock it's looking dry on me I feel like 90% of foundations that I try look dry on me. So I'm not super shocked about that, but I'm also not like loving it. So this is kind of with like one layer, not a good layer down here, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it's looking like. It's definitely not covering up a ton, which not the end of the world. I kind of feel like Bite Beauty is more of that like natural makeup anyway. So I'm not surprised it's not full coverage, but yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like with one layer. I do want to build it up. I do want to build it up though. And it's looking pretty dewy. I don't think that Danessa Myricks is um, having that much dew and I didn't, I don't have like a dewy uh, sunscreen on underneath. So let's blend in this second layer and see what it does. Okay. I feel like I should have let Curiosity get the cat this time because um, I'm not liking this. This is reminding me so much of the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. When I tried that foundation, it was on me. It just like sat on my skin, emphasized everything. And that's kind of, I mean, this texture and how it's looking on my skin is looking very similar to how the Too Faced one looked on me when I tried it. And I ended up returning that to Sephora. I did not like it at all. Um, this was a final sale, so I'm not returning this baby. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It is going into all of my pores. It's looking really dry on my nose here. I don't know if you can see and like on my forehead. It's just kind of like sitting on top of my skin and not really like blending into my skin. It looks really dewy, which like I don't love. And then like it's just not covering up really anything. I'm going to definitely have to go in and do a lot of concealing. Maybe I should have spot concealed before I went in with it, but I just didn't know like what kind of coverage it was going to have. But it's like not covering like anything. And yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna go add some concealer and hopefully that helps. I'm just gonna add my um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh with my KVD Good Apple Concealer and see if that helps it. Alrighty, went ahead and applied that concealer along here, my T-zone and under my eyes. It definitely helped with the coverage. Like you can't see, you know, as much acne and stuff peeking through. And then I did go ahead and set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder for the under eyes. I do have the Bite Powder to test out, which like now after <laughs> disliking the foundation so much, I'm like, 
Am I gonna like this powder? I kind of don't have high hopes, but we're gonna test it out anyways. This is their Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder. I got the shade Light One. I did not wanna try this out on my under eyes. I just don't feel like this shade is going to be good for my under eyes, but we are gonna try it out on the rest of the face. We're first gonna try my powder brush that I always use. I use this more for loose powder. I'm honestly not a pressed powder kind of girl. I just kind of wanted to test this out. So if I don't like the pressed powder, I'm not gonna be that surprised, but we're gonna, like I said, try it. Um, we're gonna take my brush and just kind of dab it in there. All right, so there's a little bit of kick up, but I feel like my brush picked up like a good amount. And we're just going to tap it on. I kind of already don't like it. <laughs> so it's definitely um, kind of oxidizing the foundation and making it look darker, which I don't hate only because this foundation is a little light for me. If you can see like this side versus this side, I feel like it is a little bit darker on me, but this is super drying. Oh wow, my complexion has not looked this bad in a long time. Ooh, baby. And I feel like it's taking away the coverage of the concealer that it gave me. Like, I don't feel like this acne mark right here was poking through that much until I started setting it down. My face has not looked this bad in a long time. Oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, it is just it's looking so bad. It's looking very, very dry. If you can see on my forehead, I'm going to try to, like, stand really still and not move so we can, like, focus on it and you can see and then right here in my pores, it's just emphasizing all of my pores. It's still super shiny and like so tacky. Oh my gosh, I feel like I didn't even set my face. It's like so, so stinking tacky. Yeah, I, um, mm -mm. okay, I'm gonna have to use a loose powder to set my face down because this really didn't do anything. Which like, pressed powders aren't super heavy duty like a loose powder, so I'm not really surprised about that. Maybe I can use this more as like a touch-up powder in my T-zone as I get oily throughout the day, but then again, I don't know if I want to because it oxidized and it looks so dry on my skin, like so dry. I wouldn't want to put that on top of anything and make my face look dry. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna keep giving this a go, but oof, this is rough. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder to reset my face. If you can tell, like my chin already looks so much better and like this side is set with the Laura Mercier and this side isn't. Obviously it's more matte, so that is already going to help with like emphasizing anything. But if you can see just how smooth this side looks versus this side, it's shiny and all my pores are peeking through. We're gonna try to use this and try to remedy this face. Alrighty, I feel like the Laura Mercier loose powder definitely did help my face. It's looking a little bit better. I do not have a new bronzer or highlight to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply those off camera and I'll be right back. All right, I did a couple other things off of camera as well. So for bronzer, I used my Patrick Ta Duo in the shade She's Statuesque. I used both the powder and the cream. Then for highlight, I used my Nabla Ozone Highlight. You guys know, one of my favorites. I popped on ColourPop uh, Flexitarian in my inner corner. I did finish up the lower lash line, but as you can see, I didn't really do anything crazy. I just did those two matte purple shades that we used earlier in the eye look. And then lastly, I popped on some Tarte Maneater Mascara. So next up we have a blush to try and I am so excited. So this is also from Odin's Eye in the Soul Main collection. They came out with, I wanna say like eight blushes, I believe, matte and shimmer formulations. This is their Soul Main Sunlight Love Blusher. I picked up the shade Sunset Clouds, which is the lightest one and it is the matte one. I'm not, well, I, I like shimmery blushes, but those seemed really shimmery. So I just kind of wanted to play it safe, go with the matte one. And this looks like a beautiful, mauve pink, stunning shade. I am so excited to try this out. Again, I don't really know much about the formulation, if it's going to be like super pigmented or not. A lot seem to come up on the brush though. We're just going to lightly, ooh, okay. So pretty pigmented. Ooh. That is pretty though. And a little bit more. Okay, yeah, all right. So those build up real quick, real fast. Wow, <laughs> that's definitely pretty pigmented, but I'm loving that shade. It's kind of killing me to like ruin this beautiful embossing in the pan, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? All right, this is beautiful. I love this. I love the tone of this. It's blending out really nicely. It is definitely pretty pigmented, but I like a blushing sort of look, so I'm not mad at that. It is matte like it says, so it's not emphasizing any like texture 
or anything on my cheeks. Again, this shade is stunning. Ooh, I'm really glad to pick this up. Did I go a little overboard? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to tone that down. <laughs> but overall, I'm super impressed and I can definitely see myself getting a ton of use out of this blush. All right, last but not least, we have a couple Bite Beauty lip products to test out. I picked up three of their lipsticks. I got the shade Tamarind, I believe. And then I got Sesame and Sugar Buns. So here are those three shades swatched for you. Tamarind, Sesame, and Sugar Buns. All right, Sugar Buns is a lot deeper and more pink than I expected it to be. It said it was in the nude category and that looked really, really pink to me. I think I'm gonna end up using this one called Sesame. I think that'll match the blush the best. I'm not gonna go in with a lip liner because I know probably some of you don't wear lip liner on the daily basis. And for the longest time, I myself didn't use a lip liner either. So we're just gonna go in. Again, I'm using Sesame. I've tried Bite Beauty lipsticks in the past. I got their holiday sets in the past that had mini lipsticks that were like this big, and I always liked the formulation of them. So I just wanted to pick up a couple, you know, before they were gone forever. This is like really glidey, which I like. Alrighty, so that was really nice. I feel like I had to build it up quite a bit though, like go over my lips quite a few times. Not that it was sheer, but just to get the full opacity of it. But this shade is really pretty. It seems to be a really comfortable formulation. It's not like matte or anything. There is a tiny bit of sheen to it. So it's not like drying or sucking the life out of my lips. Because of that, I don't know if it would be a super long wearing lipstick, but the shade is very pretty. I also bought one of their lip glosses. This is their Yaysayer, oh, it's a plumping lip gloss. Shoot, I missed that. This is their Yaysayer plumping lip gloss and I picked up the shade Sugar Drizzle. I usually don't like plumping lip glosses. The buxom ones are like too plumping for me and those are the ones that I feel like everyone loves, but for me, they were too intense on my lips. I haven't even tried like the Too Faced lip injections, the Fenty Heat, like I'm a baby when it comes to this stuff. I don't know how I missed that this was a plumping lip gloss, but we're gonna try it out anyways and hopefully it's not too intense. So I'm just gonna twist this up and hopefully some starts coming out. There we go. Okay, I just had to twist that for 17 years and it's like twisting way down. Like it's way far down now to get like a little bit out of the top. So that was interesting. Um, all right, so we just got a little bit up here. Let's try this on. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. I can already feel tingling. Oh no. I do like that this tip is a like rubber applicator so you can just easily clean it and then it's like all clean and ready to go. That's nice. Um, I can already feel some tingling, like cinnamony sort of a uh, feeling on my lips. It's not too intense quite yet, but I'm kind of like psyching myself up. I'm like, oh gosh. And then I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray just because it's my favorite setting spray. And here is the final look for you guys after using a whole bunch of new makeup. So I'm gonna quickly run down my thoughts. This eyeshadow palette, I think it's absolutely stunning. I love this eye look so much. The shimmers are beautiful and impactful. The mattes didn't get too patchy on me. I didn't really struggle. I'm super excited to keep testing this out. I will definitely keep you guys updated on my thoughts, but of the four shadows in this row that I use, I am in love with it. And I feel like so far every positive review I've ever seen of Odin's Eye, eyeshadows are uh, definitely accurate. The Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blur Balm stuff. I have no idea my thoughts on this, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I will definitely have to keep testing it out. I don't think it really did too much in the blurring sense of my pores here in my T-zone, but also that foundation was really rough. So I'm hoping when I pair this with the foundation that I really love on my skin, I will end up enjoying this. Again, I'm gonna have to keep you updated. The Change Maker Foundation, I hated this. Okay, that's a strong word. Hate's a strong word, but I really, really did not enjoy this on my skin at all. I'm gonna keep giving it a go, maybe with a more hydrating primer, but then again, it was really dewy. So I don't know if that would be a good combination for me to put a hydrating primer under this because it was so dewy. So I'm gonna try this out again, but so far I do not enjoy this. The powder did nothing but make me look even drier. So I don't love that. This will definitely have to be more of like a touch up powder. I would never set my face with this because it wasn't enough. I kind of knew that going into using a pressed powder. I don't use them very often, but I just wanted to give it a go. But when I set my face with this, it was so tacky. It was as if I didn't even put any powder on it at all. The Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder really saved this look, really saved it. It looks really dry still, but better than before I applied it. The blush, 
love this i think it's absolutely stunning i love this shade it went on so nicely it didn't get patchy i have a feeling it's going to wear well and not like fade throughout the day in this color i am just in love with this tone i think it is beautiful 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 the bite lipstick i kind of already knew i liked the formulation but this shade in um where's that sesame it's pretty i don't think that i wouldn't pair it with this eye look if i wasn't you know giving it a go but they seem to be a little bit darker than what i was expecting them to be but they're nice and pretty and then the plumbing gloss okay good news i don't feel like my lips are on fire and they're going to fall off which is kind of what i was expecting when i read that this was a plumbing gloss it felt cinnamony and plumping for the first like 30 seconds and now it's like gone and it's a really beautiful just like shiny juicy sort of look it does have a bunch of little sparkles in it and when i was first applying it i could see them but now that it's like spread out on my lips and all blended in i can't see the sparkles which i like it just looks really juicy and all that so i'm actually glad i picked this up so yeah those are my thoughts i'm gonna definitely have to keep you guys updated keep trying these out let me know if you want to see me use these in other videos like do you want to see other looks with this i could do like a three looks one palette or eventually maybe a one week one palette with this but i got the lost in los angeles coming up and then i promise you guys the natasha denona sunrise so this wouldn't be for a couple of months but i don't know let me know down below have you tried any of these do you like them i always love hearing from you guys down below you guys know i am nosy if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much you're awesome i love you please subscribe if you have not yet and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys